episode of the T-Mania show on the T. So, um, today episode's gonna be short. It's uh, gonna be two subjects. And the first subject is on the show, Superstore. Um, it ended last night. Um, it was, it was a good show. Um, it was funny. It lasted for six years. It was funny. I, I, I think it was completely underrated. And I wish that it had gotten more recognition that it deserved. It has so much going on inside of it, which made it hilarious. It was like one of those work situation shows. Um, a little bit with uh, will they or won't they be together with the two main characters. Um, I love the fact that there were... I love the fact that there were so many different races and religions and uh, people with different backgrounds, um, even characters with disabilities inside of it. it. Everything just blended together so well and I'm going to miss it. It's not them really, not many sitcoms that I still watch. I watch, um, you know, like Bob's Burgers. I love Bob's Burgers. Um, Family Guy. I probably watch more cartoon, adult cartoon stuff, um, sitcoms than I do um, regular sitcoms. I still love them. I think probably the last one I watched before this were uh, Modern Family. I was a fan of The Office. Parks and Rec, 30 Rock. I loved it for 30 Rock. 30 Rock was so funny. Um, but yeah, so it ended yesterday and last night, and it, it was funny, and it was it was sad to see it go. To be honest with you, um, I'm still gonna watch those replays on Hulu. <laughs> you know, but um, it ended pretty good. You know, uh, I think if I was to give the whole entire series a grade, not season per season. The whole series a grade, I would give it four to five stars. Like seriously, it's it's worth watching. Like it, it flew under a lot of people's radars. Like I don't recall any of it being nominated at any point for any kind of Emmys or uh, what do you call that, um, People Choice Awards or anything like that. And it's such a shame because the cast they, they really put in some work. The cast and the writers they put in some work and. You know, for those who didn't watch it, go back and watch it. Go back and catch it from the beginning. Especially this past season. This past season, which talked about um, um, everything that happened with the Rona, how Rona was affecting um, stores. You know, um, I mean, that hit home for a lot of people. That hit home, you know, and they handled it so well, you know. So definitely get that a chance if you get a chance to. <laughs> uh, from Superstore to Superheroes. Um, this will be my last time talking about the Zack Snyder cut and um, Zack Snyder DC films, at least for a while. Um, I talked about um, Zack Snyder for five years on Twitter before I started doing this. I started doing this like two weeks ago. Um, like I said before in the old video, another video, that I am happy that he got a chance to um, show us his vision. And I am glad as a comic book fan, as a real comic book fan, not a, just a, not a Snyder fan, but a comic book fan, I was happy to see another comic book movie come out. Um, I think he said that he's walking away from his project. I mean, walking away from any future films in, for the, of the Snyderverse. And I think that's for the best. I think we need to hear from someone else now. I think we should continue what he started, but it's good to see it from different directors and writers. You know, um, I don't think we need to go into the nightmare world, nightmare versions. Um, some of the stuff that I heard that he wanted to do, like Superman, not Superman, um, well, Superman turning bad, obviously. Um, Lois and Batman being together and having a baby. Uh, the Batman sacrificing himself. It's just he he has some wild ideas that I don't know man. I don't even think I would want to see it in a comic book or animated form Truthfully, but I am glad after everything he's been through even even after everything his fans been through Who I'm going to talk about in a, in a second. I'm glad that it, it, it came to light that everybody got to see it now his fans is one of the reasons why I 
don't think it need to continue. They are so entitled, so disgusting and vicious. Like before I said they were wild and I, I don't think that's a, a proper definition for them or description. I, they are just, the way they behave online is just unruly. And I just never seen nothing like this. I never, I, I mean, listen, I'm a wrestling fan and I know how wrestling fans can be online. But these Snyder fans, they're a totally different breed. And I find, I, I don't think they even know that they're disrespecting um, him. Because he said he's leaving it. He has other things that he wants to do. And they all talking, restore the Snyder Cut. No, oh, let that man breathe. Let him, this, this. No, let him go. We want this. We want that. It's like, listen, he don't owe those characters. And and, and truthfully, he don't, he don't owe y'all nothing. He don't own those characters and he don't owe y'all nothing. He really don't. He did what he did. And shit. You know, oh, we did this. We got it together. I guess maybe in a way you did, but truthfully, it was the studio. They, they had the final say, like, yeah, boom, boom. And all this was coming together last year. Truthfully, they, they needed some content for um, the HBO Max. And, and they got it. And from what I'm seeing, from what I understand, it, it moved the needle some, but it wasn't as big as they thought it was going to be. I don't know. Maybe the fans scared people off. Or maybe just people didn't care or maybe what I thought before, why the movie theater version of Justice League failed. It's because people didn't like what they saw in Batman vs. Superman, Man of Steel, uh, uh, Suicide, and Suicide Squad. They thought they was going to get the same. It don't matter who the director was. And yeah, Warner Brothers stepped in, and they had Josh Wheaton come in and everything. And like I said before, even though I'm a Josh Wheaton fan, I understand why they had to trim it down to two hours. I understand why you can't even if they look they could have trimmed it down to they could have trimmed it down to um three hours and maybe that would have been fine but we're talking about a movie that was four hours that didn't earn to be four hours it didn't earn that way like the lord of the rings movies the the uh, the two towers and, and and fellowship of the ring two towers and the fellowship of the ring they um, they earned that three-hour Return of the King in the third film. Okay, um, Endgame, um, um and uh, Infinity War, they earned those high um uh, running times. They earned it. It's like ten years of build-up, you know. So there's no way in hell they was gonna put that version in movie theaters. No, no, it would've been trimmed. So it wouldn't have been his full vision, nonetheless. And it, it would have been PG-13. You know? I, it's just... Uh, this tribalism from his fans is is scary. It, it reminds me a lot what's going on with um, WWE and AEW. What was going on with um, Star Wars. Oh my god, the Star Wars guys. They were crazy. Oh man. It almost made you not want to be a Star Wars fan. Seriously. You know, a tribalism is good, like, for certain sports events, sports team, like, all right, cool, ah. But it's never as bad as it is for, like, again, for this, like, with the Snyder call. It's, it's not. It's not. It's, I don't know, man. Like, y'all got what y'all wanted, and now y'all want more. And the person doesn't seem like he wants to do anymore. I mean, that's a big movie. Like, uh, what do you want to do? Two more of those? Something like that? No. No, no. It's, it's time for us to get our solo Flash film. It's time for us to get another Superman movie. Uh, whatever version they want to give us. Um, it's time for us to get um, this Blue Beetle. This um, Static Shot. Shoot, give me a Black Light movie. Uh, you know, just... Uh, I, I said Green Lantern. Green Lantern. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give me a Plastic Man, too. Some other DC stuff is coming in. I think we got Sazam coming in. Not, yeah, Sazam too. And we got a new... We got the Black Adam coming in. His cast looks great. You know? I think it's time for us to look at other stuff, you know? I, again, like, the movie didn't do as well. From what I'm reading, that they thought it was going to do. And, like, they didn't even put out, like, a press that it, that, that it did well. 
That's that's weird, right? He didn't even put put out a press or nothing. And I know this will be like beef between him and I said this is gonna be a short video and I'm talking and rambling again. But I know he they said that he had beef with the studio and blah blah blah. But HBO Max should at least said something, right? They didn't. Maybe from what I'm saying that it under it, it underperformed under Wonder Woman eighty four? I don't know. I don't know how they do these numbers with the streaming. I don't know how that goes, but I just go go by what I read and apparently what I'm reading is just meh. <sighs> anyway, um one other thing, then I'm gonna let this go. I think the Ray Fisher had a lot the Ray Fisher stuff had a lot to do with it too. Um again, as a black man, and I said this before before in another video, as a black man, um any kind of racism is not acceptable. Any kind. If that's the case. And I don't feel like this is the case. Um, the movie was trimmed down to two hours. And the majority of the movie is Ray Fisher stuff. Cyborg stuff. And that stuff got cut down. But other people stuff got cut down too. Flash stuff got cut down. Wonder Woman stuff got cut down. Superman stuff got cut down. Batman stuff got cut down. Aquaman stuff got cut down. Um, they all got cut down. They all got trimmed. They did they, so they can fit that two hours. That's not Josh Sweeten's fault. And it would have been trimmed none, no, nonetheless. Seriously, even if um, that tragic didn't happen to Zack Snyder family, it would have got trimmed nonetheless because Warner Brothers was not putting out a four hour and ten minute film. No way in hell they was going to do that. Um, I think a lot of stuff that um, Ray Fisher is saying it was just to hype up the movie, and I don't know. It's just. It's so weird. It's so it's just so weird. I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore about his stuff either, because you know, as a black man talking against another black man, you looked at a certain type of way. Because I wasn't there, but his behavior, what he's been saying, is suspect. It's making me question it. And to me, he's looking like he's like he's lying, like. He, or, or like he's falsifying stuff like th there, there's so much going on there like th like that one person came forward and said that nah he doesn't have an NDA so he can speak on it so why hasn't he speak to every single thing that happened he hasn't and like he hyped up the Snyder Court too and it seems like all the hyping up he did all the hyping up that the Snyder Court did and the film still was just okay. And the return was just okay. So, you know, I think it's time for us all to move on from the Snyderverse. I feel that it's for the best. Anyway, I am the T. Thank you for watching this. I really appreciate it. You know, um, I'm still building this channel. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can with this stage though. I'm, I'm, I'm adding stuff and editing stuff. I'm, I'm learning to edit more. But um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, whatever, all that jazz, you know. Anyway, take care. Talk to you later.